Hi friends, welcome to Tukas Funny channel. Today I am going to teach search functionality using Node.js and Angular with MongoDB database. Now here, this is a MongoDB database. I am going to search the record. You will be able to see this record. I am going to search uh, this one. Kim, right? So I am going to type KIM, click search. The relevant data details will be passing to the below text fields. Okay, here you will be able to see. Here, India, this one. I'm going to type this one, this name. Here, the same details. Here, click on this. Here, details should be changed. Okay, now I'm going to create this cache. Click search. Here, it will be successfully, details should be searched, right? So, how to make the system step by step with each? I'm going to create a new folder, it is a search. Search not JS. Inside the folder, I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to type CMD code. Sorry. Uh, new, here you have to type there, create a new project of not JS. So you have to type npm init. Press enter key, enter key, enter key, enter key. This one in we don't need them. We have this one, we have to generate the package with JS file. Right. Now let's open on the VS code that code space dot. Right, this project is open on the VS Code engine. Right. Now let's close it. This one, no need them. Right. Now here, this is package.json. Now here, I'm going to create the uh, file. So this one is server. Dot js. Right. The simple file I have created. Right. Now, after that, I'm going to install the relevant dependencies. First dependence, I'm going to install it. Here. Uh, server express server that's the first dependence so we have to type apm i express keep it in your mind this is a server which will be help you to implement the uh, server okay press enter key on your keyboard right so after that after install completed you have to go to the website which is a npm express here they will be here this one the npm express right installing express is the is a package installation right so here how to implement the package all the thing they are explaining to you so just copy this code if you go to the here here it will be explained how to install not npm if you type on the Google search MPM IX, here MPM Express, you can. This is the code your installation. After that, how to works, you just copy this line. We will just copy this line. Oh, this is just this is simple code. Uh, if you want another site, which will provide the deep, uh, it will be simple. You have to install it uh, in Express. You can express this. Or here, this one. If you click on this, okay, get started. With the hello world here this has much here, here. how the port all the port works all things are there so here we have to implement it here right so this one i'm going to change the codes here concern this one should be i will change as server i'm going to search the server support support the server right so this is the server uh, I'm going to server. This one should be also I'm going to server app. This is not app. This is server. I'm going to change this all the all the server, right? So what is the error will be? Right, support. Right, sorry. Here this is a problem is you just copy it, paste it over here. The problem is right. I have a, this missing one bracket. That's why it's error. Date. Right here, I'm going to change as this a server. Copy it. This one also, I'm going to change the server. So, right. I'll be explaining. First, you have to implement the package which is a express, which is a server. Okay, the server, we have to create the object which is a this is express. We have to uh, create the object of server. Okay, the server use the server to create the port. So, server, there is a property called listen. Here we have created the port. 
using the arrow function. You have to use the arrow function. Okay, so here example here we have to write uh, port. You have to create express sport. You have to write like this. Okay, now let's uh, see whether it's working fine or not. Let me check it. Save all. Type not server dot yes. Ah, okay, the problem is I already this is run the portman here. I already uh, show the example. This the, that example outside the port is the same. Okay, so the real be change the port and run it. Right. Now here it's running. It express port. Okay, running express port. So it's get right successfully. Again, I control C. Right, it's working. So sorry. If you change anything, you have to must save all. Then only you have to, it will be applied here. Express port successfully. 4000 is assigned successfully. Right. Perfect. Now, after that, control C, I have to install the node man. So, how to install the node man? You have to write node man, node man, which is a save dev. You have to write like save dev. It's very important. Save dev. You have to go over here. Don't install it, this one. We have to put this dependency uh, into your dev, dev dependency. So here you have to select this one, this option. Okay. So let's back to our project. This way our project. Go to the package.json. If you are normally you have to install it, it's coming here, right? So we have to we have to put it as a development dependency. So you have to here you can install it and check it. Now here it will be created as a dev, dev dependencies, right? That's the development field. Okay, here dev dependencies created. It it is a another dependency. It will be here. you have to put like this. This is the efficient way to run the node man, right? After done the stuff, if it is all are correct, will run the project using here. After we have to run the project as not node server not js. You have to write if you have installed the node man, you have to type npm start check okay, here you have right npm start uh, your server is running now let's test that so here right, let's test that back here uh, it's working fine or not the port is low cost port is 400 hello world is displayed this allowed is display from here. This allowed. If you change any text like this and save all and back it over here. Right. Why this change is not explained? Here, what happened is here node man is here the server is connecting, but the uh, once you change it, the change is not applied. The problem is what is this is scores again the for package.json we have to do the simple stuff inside the script you have to start you have to write start we haven't the script we haven't do it anything is node man we have to haven't write here node what is the file server.js server.js file save all control c let's check it back again node npm start now you will be able to see the server start okay here not 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 one not one this one that's why it's not man save all now let's refresh them npm start now here it's now the node man is run after that we have to establish a database connection of uh, mongodb so here this one so how to establish a database connection uh, we have to install the mongoose package you have to type npm 
install Mongo. We have to write a version 6.20, right? It's a latest version. You have to install them. This a Mongo dependency. You have to install them. But after install them, we have to import the packages. This is the required packages for Mongo. Here, package. Right, that Mongoose dependency installation successfully. We'll see Mongoose is installed. Now let's back to server the Mongoose, right? Mongoose, you have a, after install dependency, you have implemented the Mongoose pack classes over here. After that, what I'm going to do is here, yeah, uh, I'm going to go to, we have to add the database connection. So, database connection, you have to write like this. Copy it. So, database connection. Mongoose set 6 to uh, mongoose connect this is the database uh, localhost this is a port db is code which is a database name uh, this one should be the true case of true right so if there is no error it will be corrected successfully if there is any error it will be passing there this error we have to pass it over here but pass it over like this right perfect okay now this one we don't need them at the moment we have to remove it right that's it now let's check them whether the database connectivity is succeed or not. Now we have to, another thing is we have to do it. After done the stuff, uh, we have to connect with these two things. Uh, Express uh, JSON, this one, you see. So this one should be the server. Server, use Express JSON, you have to write this one. Then it will be working. Now let's save all, now we have to run it, sorry. Yes, running it already run so what is the problem server run. sorry here is server server like this so that's the problem right now let's this is the term here this is the power cell data we all the here installed you have to back to your server uh, node here control c again you have to run the project Intim start uh, what is the error server where server Right, I just save all. We didn't save all it. Right now, it's successfully. Now it's working. Uh, now, here yeah, the DB connect connected successfully, the port connected successfully, both are connected successfully. Right, perfect. Now, after that, we are doing the route section. So, I'm going to make the folder which is a Node.js uh, folder which is a can create as routes. You have to manage all the routes over here. Right, after that, you have to create another folder. Which is sorry, not here. We have to remove this one. Right. Now to create a web folder above here. So here we have to create a folder SRC. Inside the SRC folder, I'm going to create another folder, which is a uh, we have to create employee. Right. Two, two folders created. Right. Now the resource folder, the routes folder, I'm going to create another folder, which is a routes dot js this folder we manage manage all the routes so here i'm what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to uh routes this is a routes so what i'm going to copy this one and paste it over here so i'll be explaining that in the route also we have to get the var express route express so here we have to in the routes creation you have to start with constant variable constant variable router express here there Express this is the server you have to call it to access the routes router method. After that, router router method here. This is if the URL is coming, slash user find a find name, colon name, it will be find the name. So find the name if the URL is coming, it get you it is passing the request to user control find action method. User control find action method, right. The user control find action method, we have to create this find user controller inside this here. We have SRC employee. Here I am going to create the user controller dot js. Right? This is the flow working. Right? After that, I am going to create it. So if I create if I write it, it's to take too much of time. That's why I just copy and paste. I'll be explained. Don't worry. Right. So here this action method is coming. Right. So if the if you are type the request. It's passing to here. Here you have to specify the path over here. 
where your uh, user control is resided. Your user control is resided. So here, this is a path, user control. Okay, so your user control is resided. Now you are in the route folder. You have to double dot slash, it will be back and SRC. Inside the SRC, is an employee folder. Employee. Inside the employee folder, you have a user user controller. Right, you have to give the path. Now it goes to the particular path. Get the method action method find one user uh, controller. Get the request. Okay, get the name. What's the name you are finding? Here, here user. What is the name you are typing here? It's getting here by the params. It's passing the param over here. Request params it is passing over here. And here the after that what I'm going to do is name. After that, we have right, we have to create the variable var result avoid. We have to avoid function. If I get assign, we have to create the avoid. So it is passing the user service to find action method. This what is the name you are coming here? Request param name. This name, what is the name you are typing? It's coming here. It is passing to this service function. Right now, it's go. I'm going to create another file which is a user service. Right, user service. So this entry your user service. This is a model view architecture. Right, the user service. What I'm going to do is right. Just simple user service. You have to write the user service. Right, user service. You have to write user service. You have to write get the method. Find this is a user service method. Get the request of it. Get user details. This one should be. We have to getting user details, right? So here we have a promise. We have to call the promise. Promise is a very good standard way. If you are implement the promise over here, if the request is correct, it will be resolved. If there is any problem, it will be reject the request. Okay. So here it will be getting your request, right? So here user model. User model is yeah we didn't create yet. So we will be create the user model as well. Uh, we have to create another file user model. So the same thing, copy. It's up here, user model dot js. Here I'm going to create that that things as well. Uh, user model as well. Right. This is a user model. Right. It is implemented mangoes. Okay. Here this user model. This is schema. This this fair the the table which is employees. So you can see the employees. So okay, here the table which is employees. This is employees table. These are the column consists of the employee. This is a collection, not tables, the collections. Name, address, and phone number. These are the collections that they are in the Mongo's database. So here user schema, the employees table. These are the table uh, column collections. Okay, name, address, and phone number. Right? We will retrieve the data from here. So here, what I did here is here, yeah, let's back to our service. We have to create the object user model. User model means this is a user model. User model is available this year. This user model. This user model means this is a schema. This schema file we are calling to service. So we have to change var uh, model required service means we are get the data from this path. So user model dot find what's the name you are typing. It is finding the user details. So user details we are finding. Right? User details we are finding. After that, return error and uh, and request. If the data is coming uh, without any problem, the result will be work. If anything problems happen, if any problem, uh, any error occurred, that time it will be rejected. Okay, the promise it will be provide two two things: resolve and reject. Okay, this is this is the purpose you have to write the promise. If you write like this inside the code in the promise, it's very efficient way to write the program. And that's it. That's the thing you have to write. Okay, that's a simple stuff you have to get right. Right, so you have here, we get the request over here. User model, user details. User details mean here, what is the uh, data you are passing here? Result here, you are passing to here. This is this name you are passing to here, user details. So the user details, what is the name you are coming here? It is passing here. So find one mean, it is finding the data from where user model. Okay, if the name is uh, exist or not, if it is exit, exist, it passing the relevant result to here. Result, it is passing to here. It is back to, if the result is available, 
it is returned to resolve to it's back to our controller here result is sending the result here if there is no result is not not found it get user is not found that's it now let's check all save all what is the required what is the uh, uh, this one should be 400 port we have to focus on the same thing there thing is so same thing you have to say say jc whether it's working fine or not uh why what's the problem jc the url is what's the problem what's the url is problem why let's back the urls right the thing is this let's back to our server we haven't implemented the routes here right okay if you get the routes we are not implemented that's the thing okay route is not working so here routes so the server index here this is the routes the routes is reside on where we have to import it here again we have to import another thing is this is the routes we have to use the routes okay it's a server routes right so here here right in, in, in your server.js you have to implement the routes path first your route the here var routes required your route is inside the this folder routes folder okay the server go to the routes folder inside the routes folder we have a routes file okay after that when you call this routes when the required is coming here it passing the user control find action method it calls the controller uh, find action method right find user here it is, what is the name you are typing it getting the name and passing to the find user db service so it retrieving the name user retrieving the name over here okay and passing to here and check it okay passing and check it use a model means this use a model passing the schema use a model and if the record is available in the database it will be resolved it passing the uh, function resolve and back to your uh, controller here and produce the result if there is any error it it will be sending the error user not found right so let's back and check it again now here file save all uh nodeman crash what happened user service can't find user service okay user service right right here this one should be i will name it so service uh here the more here the controller this is user services that's why right. user service this is not a service service so it's a service right now let's it's successfully it's coming successfully now let's back it and check it okay we have to write uh some of the name over here click send here username not found so if you type this uh correct username uh, name you have to find it kish type it over here here what's the name your matching record will be displayed and show into the uh, show it here right status group now i'm going to search another record from the collection this one right it's working for perfectly well backend application will be finished now here if i go to at the front end we have to connect with this uh, search functionality so you have to use these two things right you have to use this cross this dependency you have to type okay you have to connect, connect this the dependency out of that we have to install that right in order to use the api so you have to write you have to type here npm i cross right press enter key the dependency will be get installed that's the thing you have to write then only the dependencies get installed but this is the thing you have to write right so after that what i'm going to do is get it be installing after that after done the stuff what you're going to do is i'm going to work with the front end so i'm going to go to uh right here as a new folder i'm going to type search angular Here I'm going to create the Angular project. So we have to type CMD. Go to go here. I'm going to type uh, Angular CLI. Click on here. Copy this one. Back to here. Paste it. 
you have to wait until the ang angular CLI's uh, dependency get installed. After that, I'm going to create a new project. This one, right? Copy it. Now I'm going to create a new project. So this using this command. Now the yes, here your select as this one. It's CSS. It's an advance of uh, CSS, right? So you have to wait until the packages get installed. Here yeah, the, the installation has been completed successfully. I open on the project on VS Code editor. So you can see this is the folder where we have installed it for project, right? Now I'm going to double check this project. I'm going to open on the VS Code test CMD forward space dot. I'm going to open on the VS Code editor. It open up the VS Code editor. You will be able to see this is the folder structure. Now what I'm going to see, I'm going to trust project. You have to remove this one. Welcome page here. I'm going to uh, app. Now here, I'm going to go to uh, type this one. Uh, install the. I'm going to create a new uh, ng generate component search component. I'm going to type search component. I will create the new component which is search. Here I'm going to uh, add the search query. So first I'm going to go to implement the bootstrap. So type bootstrap. You have to import the bootstrap library. Click on the bootstrap CD and here over here, copy it. Back to my project. This is your Angular project. Go to the index.html file. Inside here, the add tag, you have to paste it. Then your bootstrap will be applied in your project. Right. After that, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to go to your, this one. Sorry. My components I haven't created. Yes, you have to create. So, right, your component has been created successfully. Yeah, right. Now your component go to the search component, HTML file. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go to uh, do the HTML part. Right, the HTML part. So I already designed the form. I just copy and paste. I'll be explaining it. This simple bootstrap. The due tag is started. You can see the due tag is started. Due tag is close it. Inside the distribute tag, there will be the heading. I have implemented the card section of the bootstrap. Inside the form, we have a simple form. It's a one simple form. It consists of this one should be our uh, input box. This one should be it, it has one button and input box. When I enter the name, the relevant click search button, the match, the name match with the details should be displayed below. Address and phone number. So how to do the task, right? So the HTML file is completed. We have to go to the search criteria component.ts file. Here we have to implement the variables. So you have to create the variables type. So what you're going to do is so here ts file. I'll be explaining, don't worry. Okay, I'll be explaining, don't worry. If I take too much of time to complete the work, if I write line by line, right? So here you can see here just right right now first what i'm going to do before that i'm going to do the simple stuff go to the app module here we have to import the thing is first you have to import the thing here but import the form okay we have to import two things one is a form and other thing is this right so i have to implement the das things as well so that things this implement these two things right this is must while you're working with these forms, right? So this one you have to add it into the form. Form import the component here form. After the ht, this one ht tag. This is a namespace. So don't worry. I I given this all the source code you, right? So here implement this one, right? Why the search component getting error? So search component. Can you? Let's save all. And check it right now. Let's back here. Uh, what is the TS file? Let's remove the content. Add it again here. The here there's a problem is here. Uh, search this one, remove it right now. Let's uh, this is the search. This one we have to add the component again. Is there any problem with the component? 
so what you have to write copy uh, search component Now let's back to our search component TS, this file. This is the file where we are write the logic. So first you have to implement the namespace. Click on here. Click on the bulb symbol. You have to import this namespace. It is added above. Right. Right here, we have created the two different three different variables: name, address, and phone number. These three variables that we have already created in our front end. Back end, sorry, back end. You will be able to see. Your models you will be able to see. This is the same thing. I have created the variables. It's a backend bar. So front end also we have created the same variable. So here this form also we have used it the uh, ng model and ng model option. These two things are important, right? When you are, when the name you are type on the particular text field, uh, this name text field, click search button. What happen is this the particular name will be saved on this ng model. What's the name you are type? And back to your TS file over here, it's coming here, coming the search bar. Okay, when you click this button, uh, when you click this button, it's come along with the name. That name, you have to bring it this dot name. Get the name as this dot name. And response type text, it will be the text, it will be subscribed. Okay, until the data you will find. Okay, so this is the API. We have, we have already tested this API using uh, Postman here. The, here slash find slash plus using the concatenate operator this means what is the name you are given on the particular text field it is coming here and search the record and it will be passing to the respective input fields this below input fields address and phone number so here write this dot address this dot phone number what's the data you are coming here the, this dot address this dot phone number I mean this is the uh, name of this text field address and phone number so you have typed here this dot address and phone number what are the result you are getting you have write result data address and phone number right this is simple stuff from so let's check whether it's working fine or not so after that i'll be explaining it so here this is simple stuff so let me check right so before that here you have to go to i'm going to this one this uh sorry this one I'm going to. This one, all the things I will take. I'll be right. Close it now. I'm going to go to uh, run my Angular project. So go to the app app component HTML file. Control it, select all, delete them. I'm going to call the first come load the component is uh, this search component TS file. So you have to load this one. So get this element app search. Copy this and paste here as well paste it so run it this one let's take the result of that how the result works copy it and paste it right so right now let's save all i'm going to run the angular project so i'm going to run angular, angular project created project what's the name here this one so i'm going to open another terminal i'm going to run it ng serve okay don't run it here because it takes too much of time to complete this uh, here if you open the terminal on the vs code that instead of that we have to use the uh, get the command from and open your project directory here go to the project inside you don't open over here it's not working double click and open here here you have to type cmd and work with the project now it's, it's your project is loading so wait until the loading process is completed now your angular project is running now this port I just copied back to your browser and paste it over here and here it's running and the, this is the database okay I'm going to test it GEN this one put it here click search button here the relevant result will be coming successfully so here right click impact you will be able to see the console okay here this one should be the result here coming here right console here you will be able to check how the result is coming uh go to the search ts file 
Okay, you will be able to check the results here. You have to get the result here. Console dot log result data. Result data, this is the function you are calling. What is the result summing here? Right? Here you can save all and again running. Type it. Sorry. Search it back. Fresh. The result will be displayed. Uh, what is the console? Okay, I'm going to save all. Right. Now let's back it. Now again, I'm going to. It's not saving. Sorry. Now here I'm going to search another record. Cash. Click search button record display. Now I'm going to check with this one. Sorry, not here. This one. Here you can see if you are write a console dot log. You have to check it. The result data here. What is the result you are coming here? Record uh, result is come via the result data. You have to paste it to this result data over here. This console. Check it back. Click on this. Impact console. Here the object you can get in here. here. Status pro. You will be able to get all the records. Here name. You have to use result data data. That's what that's how you use result data data. If the record is not found, I am going to this one. You have to given here not found. User not found. This one you have given. Here as well, your backend here. Here, if the data is wrong, user not found. It will be displayed here, right? So yeah, that's so that is the thing I have implemented here. Result data. If you get this message, so here, if you get wrong message, wrong this one here, record not found here, user not found. Result data data. If if the request is coming, uh, uh, user not found. We have to alert message your displays record not found. Otherwise, if the data will be shown, this is a very simple search engine criteria we have written. Uh, the the through the HTTP client request, you have to import this constructor. Okay, constructor private HTTP client. This is important. Right, that's it. Okay, this is a simple search engine. Open and close the package. Right. Inside here, you have to write it here. This no need one, this one, this variable duration. This is enough. Right. I hope you guys you understood so far. If you have any doubt, you can ask me anytime. If you love my channel, please subscribe me, like me. Thank you for watching.